I keep just driving this car in central London and not really being able to make the most of the V10, the naturally aspirated V10. So today, what we're doing is going to the countryside to enjoy this car, that gearbox, on some proper little English B roads. trying to look for like B roads something like stuff that's there but we can't seem to get to those roads which is not ideal so now we've decided that we're heading towards Swindon anyways which is where we need to go so we might as well, well first of all close the valves we might as well just go there and then try and find some roads around there no idea if there are nice roads around Sw Swindon figure it out it's hailing no ah um I think they've closed the highway in front of us. I mean, what is our luck today? We just want to drive. What's going on? Right, this is the moment where we have to try and find a, a B road. We're nearly at RE Performance. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go this way. I don't know what's here, but let's try it. Um, oh shit. Any roads? Any little roads around here? Anyone? Nope, it's literally a dead end. There's nothing. There's literally nothing. No! Every acceleration, literally every acceleration is probably about 10 pounds of fuel anyways. Wait, we got a thumbs up! We've made it, boys! Okay, we've got a red light, which is a good opportunity. I thought this park would maybe have potential. Absolutely not. <laughs> the thing is about the size of a medium football pitch. So there's no way we're driving in there. I think what we're gonna have to do in the end is just um, look at cars in RE performance, which is sick. And we'll stretch the legs of this car maybe on our way back another time. <laughs> we still stretch its legs, just not really on a B-Row. Fail would be the theme of today. <laughs> it did not go as planned in any way. Seeing as we're not driving on any B roads right now, it seems like a good time to tell you that Zenrage, the guys who made my exhaust, are actually giving you guys a promo code. If you watch my videos, you get a special code in order to have a special price on exhaust for the cars that I own. So, Ferrari and Audi. However, I do realize that you guys maybe don't have a Ferrari or, a, or an Audi. If you do, there's gonna be a code somewhere underneath. But on top of that, I'd love for you guys to comment down below a brand of car that you have or that you would like to have a promotional code for an exhaust. And then the brand that gets the most comments, we're also going to give a code for that brand. So whether it's Mercedes, BMW, whoever, we will provide you with a code to get a special price on a Zenrage product for that car. So there will be brand of your choice, Ferrari and Audi, where there will be special codes where you can get a special price. Anyway, it's very nice of Zenrage. And as I say this, we are arriving at RE Performance. I'll explain why inside. We made it then, RE Performance, so a very different video to what we were, you know, going to make, but we had to rush over here and these guys are awesome. And the reason we're here, I'm leaving the R8 here for a while, it's having its service done, so it had a service due, and these guys are the best in the business when it comes to R8, so I feel really safe leaving it here. I mean, when you arrive and you see this kind of lineup, we got an R8 GT, blue, gold wheels, absolutely beautiful, modified all over the place, with a carbon front splitter as well. Right next to that, we got another R8, this time a V10, but it's got a wing, um, which was something I was considering on my car, but 
you have to drill holes in the original electric winning which is already there so you know you'd need to realistically buy another one of those because we you ruin the car a little bit we've got a cayman gt4 beautiful car first gen still haven't driven the new one but i've driven this before and it is awesome and then very similar to mine an r8 v10 plus however this one has the double clutch flappy paddle gearbox but yeah really nice spec black wheels blue paint awesome awesome looking car and then these which I love. These things sound awesome. This is a Shelby GT350. Very, very cool looking car. Massive wing on the back. And in this blue, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So they've got some cool stuff here. Let's hop on inside because it continues in there. Always some very cool cars here. Second time I come here, last time was to put the exhaust on the car. You come in and you're greeted by some Teslas. So you got a Model 3 and Model S. But then you come on to some serious stuff. So we've got a V10, Audi R8 V10 Spider here being worked on. But this is, this is what I was instantly drawn to. This is a wide body V10 Plus, I believe twin turbo, but mainly what they've done is look at this exhaust system that they've put on it. Absolutely awesome. You can just hear V10s firing up all over the place, but they've got four central exit exhaust and it looks basically just like a straight pipe system. Absolutely epic. So they've wide bodied it around front and back, added quite you know, a couple of inches to the width of the car. I mean, you've got carbon seats. The whole car is just completely modified. Other cool things, we've got Advantage GT8, Performante, also also in blue. Don't know what's going on with the blue theme here. But Performante looks awesome in baby blue like that. Similar engine to the R8, obviously, them being from the same group, same V10. We've got a five liter guy out of here. Some serious work going on. Not, not too sure what's going on there. I hope that's not what my car looks like during the service. And then we've got a McLaren. McLaren 695 LT Spider. Awesome car over 200 grand on these. Looks really, really cool. Especially with the wing up. This is aero mode. Really nice to see it with the wing up like that. And then this which is lovely, so clean now. But this is an FF, Ferrari FF, with a straight pipe exhaust. So dark red, absolutely beautiful, really good spec, and it's got that tan uh, interior that Ferraris do so well. So coming here and seeing these cars is awesome, and then you probably can't see it, but through here there's a dyno, and my car's parked in there for the night. So yeah, on the dyno. But awesome to stop by here, see the cars, even though it wasn't really the plan for us to come and just uh, look at the cars here. We wanted to go on some B-roads. We have to be here in time. The guys are shutting down the shop in a little bit. But the cars here, it's gonna be serviced, and we may even put you know, the new steering wheel on, maybe do the wrap here. We may do a few things. So it's gonna be here for a while, because I'm away for a month. So when I see the car next, it may look very different, which I'm pumped about. But on that jolly note, Guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again very soon. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And take care. See you. Bye-bye.